Feedback is information that performers receive about their performance, and it can be gathered and used in different ways. There are four types of feedback that we need to understand, and these include intrinsic feedback, extrinsic feedback, concurrent feedback, and terminal feedback. Intrinsic feedback comes from within the performer themselves as they think about how they performed. In football, when you strike the ball cleanly, or in table tennis, when you hit the perfect shot, you just know that you have pulled, pulled off the skill well, and this is giving yourself intrinsic feedback. This feedback is more for experts, beginners are not experienced enough to know how a skill should feel. Extrinsic feedback comes from an outside source, such as a teacher, coach, or teammate. It's very useful for motivating beginners who do not fully understand if they've performed a skill correctly. For example, a basketball coach may tell a beginner to make sure that they bend their knees while shooting. The player will then understand how to improve. Concurrent feedback is feedback that occurs during a performance. It has the advantage of being acted on immediately, although it could also confuse beginners. For example, a tennis coach may tell a player that they need to be more aggressive with their shots. A half-time talk in netball or football would also be an example of concurrent feedback. Terminal feedback is given after a performance. It is reflective and gives a detailed overview of the whole performance. If it is given too late to alter the performance in the current game, but has the advantage of giving clear feedback on how the team or individuals within the team can improve. Feedback is either intrinsic or extrinsic, and also either concurrent or terminal. For example, a runner's coach could shout from the sidelines that they need to up their pace during a race. This feedback is both extrinsic, because it comes from an outside source, the coach, and concurrent because it's happening during the race. Alternatively, following a round of golf, a golfer might sit down and consider that they felt too tense throughout the round, which led to many mishits. This feedback would be both intrinsic because it comes from within themselves and how they felt during the round, but also terminal because it's happened at the end of the round and it's reflective. Feedback given to performers, and particularly extrinsic feedback, can be based on data. There are two types of data. There's quantitative data, which is, is numerical and includes stats that can be compared and measured, and qualitative data, which is information about quality, qualities, and this is more difficult to measure. For example, the amount of successful passes that a team make during a football match would be quantitative data. The coach could compare the passes made to previous performances in order to evaluate success. Qualitative data is more subjective as it's not measurable. A tennis player could be asked to describe their forehand shots during a match and they might state that their shots were perfect or that they were constantly hitting the sweet spot. This would be an example of qualitative data.